In any event, we agree with the judge that applications for interim relief in this context must be considered on an individual basis and not a generic basis. Otherwise, the respondent could be prevented from implementing her policy of removal even in a case in which there is no legal defect in the individual decision-making process at all. In this context, we bear in mind that as recent events have shown, the Secretary of State continues to consider each case on its individual facts and has been prepared to revoke removal directions in a number of cases while these proceedings have been taking place and even over the weekend since the judgment below was given. We return to the fundamental point in this case, which turns on how the judge dealt with the balance of convenience. In our judgment, he conducted that balancing exercise properly. He did not err in principle in the approach which he took. He weighed all the relevant factors on each side of the balance. He reached a conclusion which he was reasonably entitled to reach on the material before him. This court cannot therefore interfere with that conclusion. And the final heading is conclusion. For the reasons we have given, this appeal is dismissed.